and it looks like I'm live. Welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel, everybody. I hope you can hear me. My microphone's in a really weird place. Um, my camera's weird too. But you gotta set up how you gotta set up. So let's see who's here. Linda's here. Hi, Linda. Shelly's here. Laura. Hey, guys. Welcome in. We'll be opening this box today. It's been here since yesterday. I'm pretty excited. Um, while we wait for some more folks to come in, I will just briefly give an introduction on the Thread Up Denim Rescue Box for those of you that aren't familiar with them yet. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Tammy. Thanks for coming in. So these are denim rescue boxes from Thread Up, and they are purported to be for crafters. They're not necessarily for resale, but you can get good items. They are blind boxes, so you never know what you're gonna get. You're gonna get 15 pounds of random denim, all women's and kids' clothing. They do not sell men's. And sometimes you get good stuff, sometimes you get really good stuff, and sometimes you get poop. Um, Skin Integrity is here, Robert's here, Sell Quick, Ship Quick is here, Dee Dee. Sinuin San, I probably said that wrong, but welcome in guys. So this box was $24. The thing with Thread Up is they keep lowering the weight and raising their prices. It used to be $20 for 20 pounds, then it was $20 for 15 pounds, and now it's $24 for 15 pounds, and then it's $4.99 shipping. I've only had two boxes. The first one was decent, the second one was a little disappointing. And I was going to kind of hold off before I got any more, but then they sent out a code. A, a lot of people got it. Anybody could have used it. They sent out a code for free shipping, and I thought, well, if it's only going to be $24, I guess I'll get another one. So I used the coupon code before it expired. Hey, Valerie, welcome in all the way from Washington. So um, let's go ahead and start digging in. We'll move Hilda. She's up here just to let you guys know she does have a name. This is the Hippo Heather from Heather's Menagerie sent me last week that I opened on my live show. And she has been named Hilda. She, she wanted everyone to know that she has a name. Because sometimes you guys know it takes me months to name a hippo. So I'm just going to stand up real quick without a box cutter again and open this box. And um, hopefully it's not as painful as it usually is when you guys watch me open a box. No, it's not painful at all. And I have tissue paper in here. I had heard from a couple of folks in our Facebook group that they had, I'm going to move my water, they had stopped putting in the tissue paper. I don't know the cut cost or whatever, but I have the tissue paper. Their paper is really cute. It's got the green polka dots. So um, when Keith brought this in, I will tell you guys, you don't always get exactly 15 pounds. Sometimes you get a little bit more. When Keith brought this in, he did weigh it on our scale and it was like right under 17 pounds. So I think they just throw it, you know, random denim in until you reach a minimum of 15 because they can't give you less and it's not always gonna come out exactly. I see something I wanna pull out first. I'm excited. I think these are booty shorts. Y'all know I love booty shorts. It. Uh, someone said you can get men's items in the jean box. Uh, they're not supposed to. Their their website says they only sell women's and children's, and that's all they accept. But it's possible people mail them in. Um, these are booty shorts. Super small, but. I really like booty shorts and I buy them when they're 99 cents. I bring home piles of them in the summer, even the small sizes. And these are Forever 21, but they're really cute. They have like a mint green stripe. So um, these are going to be considered bread and butter. Oh, for those of you that haven't watched me open a thread up box before, what I do is I have a piece of paper here. Probably can't read it. And I have three columns, and I count how many of the items I would consider bread and butter or filler, how many are good, and then I count the poop, and then we kind of at the end calculate how much each pair was per item, and then if it was worth it. 
So that's, um, hey Chris, welcome in. And there's Heather. I don't know if Heather was here in time to hear that her hippo has a name. This is Hilda, Heather. Um, it's possible that people, when they mail in their boxes, because you can consign with them or sell your stuff to them. They're sending in men's. Maybe that's why they end up in the craft boxes, because they don't resell them. Anyway, I'm counting these booty shorts as bread and butter, absolutely. That's something I would pick up for 99 cents at Goodwill. So let's see what's next. These are American Eagle bread and butter all day long. I do like American Eagle. It's one of my favorite mall brands um, to get for 99 cents at the Goodwill. These have a lot going for them. They have distress, they're ripped. Someone in my group, and I forget who, I, I apologize if you're watching and or seeing this later, I totally forgot who it was. But I just read that someone sold a pair of American Eagle um, bell-bottom flares with distress like this for $40. That's even higher than I priced, but that's amazing. Anyway, these look like capris, and they're hemmed on the bottom. And I'm not, there it is, I was going to say, I'm not seeing a size. They're size 4, so they're on the smaller size, but they are good for summer, so those will be bread and butter. see what's next it's like Christmas I love this these look like maternity um, depending on the, their gap so while I don't really source maternity clothing I don't specifically seek it out I would consider it filler if it's a good brand um, these are gap maternity and I want to find the size these are 31 so that's a good size I'll call these bread and butter they look like they're um, skinny I'll have to measure the leg opening but those are bread and butter so hey three bread and butters so far a bunch of folks in my group the Facebook group have been getting silver jeans in their boxes but I couldn't be so lucky right these I've never heard of M I H I do not want to knock my water over. Can you guys see it? It's M-I-H jeans. 30 waist. Um, I'll just put these here for a minute. If anybody's ever heard of those, let me know. Because I've never heard of them. These are cut from the cloth. Yay! That's a good brand. These are just a size 8. But they're still a good brand. I thought they were cut, they were hemmed for a minute. They're not. These are nice. So these cut from the cloth. This is a brand that um, I would pay up for. Not $6.99 like I would pay for Silver Jeans. Um, if you don't know, we go to Goodwill on 99 cent day. So our options are pretty much limited to 99 cents or $6.99 for jeans when we source. But if we went during the week when they were half off, these are definitely a pair I'd pay $3.50 for. So we'll call these good. I got a smiley face from Heather. She must like the name Hilda. I was watching the new um, Sabrina show on Netflix. It's really good, you guys. And one of her aunt's names is Hilda. So I just like, hey, that's a good name for my hippo. All right, these are Hollister. Now, I wouldn't necessarily call Hollister poop, but I wouldn't call it bread and butter. Um, I don't seek it out. I don't source it. Even if it's 99 cents, I typically stay away from Hollister. But if it's going to come in a box, I'll list it. I'll start it at like 22, 20 bucks. These are small, skinny, real lightweight. These are going to ship first class. So I would definitely just call these bread and butter. They're not bad. I just wouldn't seek them out. Getting them in a box like this is cool. Um, especially like even though they're a smaller size, they are skinny jeans. They are dark wash. J. Crew. Now, those of you that only sell on eBay and do not um, sell on Poshmark probably think I'm crazy, but J. Crew is a really good brand as far as bread and butter. It's not like a hit and run, not a hit and run, a home run. It's not a home run or super stellar brand, but this is a very, very good bread and butter filler brand for Poshmark. And they're denim shorts, which this time of year is good. So we'll call those bread and butter. 
Uh, Tammy says she looks up M MIH for me. Says to put it in bread and butter. Thank you, Tammy. I love you. You're the best. Tammy's awesome, guys. If you don't know her, um, she's in the group. I'm sure you've interacted with her. She's really cool. Um, so I put those in the bread and butter. So, so far, this box, um, I haven't pulled out anything Amaze Balls, but it's still better than the last one so far. Another pair of American Eagle. And these ones are a size 14, which is a good size. Um, on Poshmark, anything size 14 and up is considered plus size. Not necessarily so on eBay, but these would be considered plus size on Poshmark, and I will absolutely put them on both platforms. And they are big on the bottom, so I'm assuming these are going to be flare. So that's another pair of bread and butter. So far, guys, this box is a lot better than the um, last one. I was kind of disappointed last time. Oh, Tammy, you're sweet. Uh, these are H&M Divided. So again, these are kind of like, well, these are really small. And they're right in my paper, hold on. Amateur hour. Um, these are kind of like the Hollister. I wouldn't seek them out. Saw them for 99 cents, I'd pass them. Pass on them. But if they're gonna come in a box like this that's kind of wholesale, you know, they're bread and butter. Um, these are real small, skinny jeans. They're definitely going to be first class to ship. So I'd probably start on H&M. I'd probably start on 18 or 20, but they're going to be first class. So we'll call them filler bread and butter. I'm definitely liking this box so much more than the last one, and I'm so happy I decided to use my free shipping. And I actually would have missed that in my email if it wasn't for... Um, Shelly and Lance. So Shelly and Lance, thank you so much for posting in the Facebook group about that coupon and bringing it to my attention because I get so much email, I absolutely would have missed it and I would have missed out on the opportunity to get a box for only $24 shipped. These are absolutely famous. I have no idea what that is. Can you see it? I'm pretty far from the camera, but they're called Absolutely Famous. They sound fancy. They're cute. You see the flowers, the embroidery, and they have some distressing on the back pocket. They look like skinny jeans. They're probably skinny ankle jeans. They don't look full length, but they're not quite capri. Um, let me check the size. Maybe they're kids. No, they're size four. That looks like a 28 inch waist. So these are probably size four women's. Um, I'll have to measure the inseam and the outseam, but I'm going to say these are like the ankle length. These flowers are real pretty. Um, I'm going to call these bread and butter. I've never heard of this brand, but I feel like with all the embroidery and how cute they are with the distress, this is actually something I would take a risk on if I was outsourcing. Um, and I do that sometimes. If I see a brand I'm not familiar with, but it's only going to cost 99 cents, and they're cute, they have something unique about them, something that's different about them, I absolutely will pick them up and bring them home to try. So we'll put those in bread and butter. Um, Liquidation King LA says, I bought three boxes, over 60 pairs of jeans, four jackets, and three shirts. That was when they were 20 pounds for 20. Since they raised the price and lowered the quantity, I haven't gotten any. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people aren't happy with the price raise. Lance used to get them when they were um, the 20 pounds for $20, and he got a bunch of really good stuff before I decided to take the leap. Um, and by the time I took the leap, it was 15 pounds. Um, so Tammy says, absolutely, the absolutely famous are bread and butter. Good to know. But those are something I would pick up. It just sometimes things are cute enough that I'll pick them up if they're 99 cents. These are a size 16, so these are a real good size. Um, they're just Ross and Alley, which isn't an amazing brand. This is a brand I would pick up in plus size or if it had something cute going on like that for 99 cents. And these look like um, absolutely capris. They have like a nice hem at the bottom. 
it's a sewn hem. So we'll put those in the bread and butter too. Oh, there's still quite a few in here. Guys, I'm liking this one. It'd be nice if I could pull out a pair of silver, but you know. Oh, these are cute. These are American Eagle. They're only a size zero, but, um, ooh, okay. These are really nice. Um, the thing with the size zero and the double zeros and the size one, the really small sizes and sometimes even two, size two, um, I do really well with those and I, I kind of have this theory and if you've already heard me say this theory on the channel, sorry for repeating myself, but for the new folks, um, when you go to the stores to buy clothes, unless you're in the store specifically for plus size, like Torrid or Chico's, you know, with the vanity sizing, um, what you find most of in your stores is going to be like your size 8 to your size 12 or 14, those average American sizes. And so the reason plus size does so well for many of us is because it's harder to find. And um, there's other theories too, like sometimes women who are curvy like me are embarrassed to buy them in the store and they go online and all that. But I think on the other end of the spectrum, um, the smaller sizes are really hard for folks to find as well and they'll go online for them. Um, Key Sisters are a good example. She wears like a size two. She's real tiny and petite and she can't find clothes in her size to save her life. And so we keep an eye out for her, absolutely. But before we were resellers, she did buy a lot of her clothing online. So I, I do pick up zero, double zero, ones and twos, even though most people st stay away from the small sizes. Um, I don't. But these, I would pick up in a heartbeat if I found them on 99 cent day. Look at the rips. The dis I'm going to call these destroyed. They're not even distressed. These are going to be called like light washed, destroyed, ripped denim. They look like they're um, just straight leg, but they are super cute. So those are bread and butter. Dun -dun -dun. Oh, there's still quite a few in here. These are Old Navy. <laughs> That's another um, mall brand I do like. Not necessarily in the mall, but I call them a mall brand. Um, these I get for 99 cents all the time. So these ones are size 2. Speaking of size 2, these are the Old Navy Pixie. They're um, like a trouser. They're jeans, but they fasten like trousers. So I would, you know, put them as like dress slack jeans or whatever. These might actually be more like dress pants. Anyway, they're cute. So that's bread and butter. I haven't pulled out any poop yet. I shouldn't jinx, my, jinx myself, right? These are American Eagle. It's a super, super stretch. Jegging. That's good. They're a size four, so, you know, that's eh. But they're jeggings. They're light washed. They're cute. These are definitely bread and butter. Yeah, Tammy, absolutely. This is a profitable box profitable if I could speak of the English um I feel like even though I haven't pulled out anything super stellar like I haven't pulled out silver or anything all this bread and butter all this filler it's still gonna make a profit I'm gonna get the money back for the box and maybe I'll buy another one now <laughs> it's like every time you go in this disappointing you're like I'm gonna take a break and I'm not gonna buy these for a while and then you get a good one and you're like I want another one um, these are Land's End Mid-Rise Slim Jean, size 12. So that's an okay size. Uh, Land's End kind of falls in with the Hollister and the H&M. Nothing I would really search for. Even on 99 cents day, I'd pass it up. But I'm okay with having it in a wholesale lot like this. Um, especially size 12. And these look like a high waist, kind of straight leg. So these might be something I'd categorize as mom jeans. I will put those in the bread and butter. G. Jasso, I'm moving to Ohio. Cool. You'll be next door. You'll be right next door. Yeah, Heather, they're like Maurice's. Oh, I think I'm going to like these. 
Okay, we're gonna save these because that's definitely not bread and butter. Uh, got one more pair in here. These are, oh, <laughs> I got one poop. <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna have to stand up and try to show you this. And you'll see why I'm laughing. <laughs> Do you see what they are? Oh my God, I got Walmart shorts. <laughs> I got Faded Glory shorts. I'm so excited. I'm gonna absolutely not put these in the store. <laughs> They're a size six. They're not even my size, like not even anything I can take to eBay open in Vegas and wear. <laughs> Anyone wear a size six and want some tan um, Walmart jeans? <laughs> um, these are just, I don't know why I'm so tickled pink about getting Walmart shorts. Um, so we got one poop. Let's put that in the poop column my faded glory jeans and here's the thing though like I can't say never because what happens next winter when these are upstairs in our serial killer room as we call it the storage unit the storage unit the third floor storage room we have in the Victorian house is pretty spooky so we have dubbed it the serial killer room anyway these will go up there um, and you know next winter if it happens that we get snowed in a bunch and can't get out to get um inventory or go sourcing and i am desperate to list something because i need to keep activity going in the store and i need to keep our numbers up i i might put these up for like 10 bucks i don't know um yeah the purple things i don't know what those are i keep seeing those shelly i think I guess I just kind of saw them and thought they were from the hippo, but my hippos are shedding. So those are my faded glories, but I got one really good pair. So that offsets. These are made well. I don't even know if you can see it. These are made well. I have only ever had one pair of made well. Never found them in the wild. The last pair I had came from, um, I think it came from my last thread up. There goes a purple thing. I think the other Madewells I have came from a thread up box, I think. If anybody has a better memory than me and remembers me pulling them out, let me know. But I just listed them like last week and I feel like they came out of a box. Um, a thread up, I, I've never found them in the wild. So these made wells are the nine inch high riser. Oh, super chat from Tammy White. Thank you so much. $5 super chat. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. Um, these are nine inch high riser skinny, skinny crop. I absolutely love when the jeans themselves come with all your keywords right on the jeans. I love when they have um, a big name like that because that's your whole title. That's all your keywords right there. You don't have to think. It's just, you know, made well women's jeans, size 28, I think that's 29, yeah. And then I would put nine inch high riser skinny skinny crop medium washed in, I'm done. I love when they have big titles like that. Hi Donatella, welcome in. So this is a good one. This is gonna be categorized as good. And that's the whole box. So you guys, I got five, 10, 15, I got 16 pairs this time total. Um, well, one was short, two were shorts, but 16 pairs, so the total price for each pair was, let's pull out the handy dandy calculator. Oh, speaking of that, do you guys remember, me and Keith were talking about this the other day, totally off topic, totally not even reselling related, except that we all need our calculators with us. You remember when you were in school, and I mean, I'm aging myself here, but when you were in school and they would always tell you, 
you know, you need to learn your math because you are not going to ever always have a calculator in your pocket or close by. Jokes on my teachers, right? All right, let me figure this out real quick and then we'll catch up on comments. Um, so I spent $24 because this box had free shipping on it. So it was just $24 straight dollar shipped and 16 so divided by 16 is a dollar 50 a pair that is amazing that is really good so even though one of the pairs was poop a dollar 50 is not bad and so let's say we take the poop pair out of the equation because they are they're walmart brand jeans i'm not gonna shorts not jeans so let's say we'll, we'll knock it down to say 15 that i can resell right so 24 divided by 15, that makes them $1.60 a pair for the ones that I can list. So $1.60 a pair um, for 14 bread and butters and one super good one. I'm okay with that all day long. But just out of curiosity, if we would have paid shipping on this, it would have been 20, I can't math. Shipping's $4.99. No, it's not. Is it $5.99? Does anybody remember what the shipping is on these? $4.99, right? Yeah. So, if I would have paid for shipping, they would have been $1.93 a pair, which is still good. But these were free shipping, so taking out the the poop, the, the faded glory, the Walmart, I got 15 pairs for resale, $1.60 a pair. Um, most of them, all of them, but one are bread and butter that I would normally pay 99 cents for, but that's okay because I got a really good pair. So let me read the comments real quick. Leslie says, hi Star, thanks for all your videos. I love them and learn a lot. I don't see a denim box option on the thread up. Um, only DYI denim. Please advise. So Leslie, that's what you want to get. It's the DIY denim. They do advertise their denim rescue box as a crafter's box. It's not necessarily meant for retail or to buy to wear, um, but this is what it is. It's a box full of jeans. And um, actually some people got legs, <laughs> like some people in the Facebook group got just legs cut off. I'm telling you, it's weird. Like you can get really good stuff sometimes like silver jeans and some people get cut off legs. It just kind of, I guess it's whatever they grab and put in your box to hit the 15 pounds, but that's what you wanna look for is the DIY denim, it's the denim rescue box. Um, all things Serenza, I got two pair of Madewell in my last box. Yes, they are like 50 to 60 on Poshmark. This is a very good brand. Um, oh, Shelly answered you. Shelly's the other, um, Lance, Shelly, and I, I think, are the three biggest addicts of the Thread Up boxes in the Facebook group. But a lot of our members have been ordering these. And like I said, I've seen people get anything from silver jeans to cut off legs. It's a blind box, you're taking a risk. But for the most part, I would say even the people that got a quote unquote bad box, still after they sell everything, after their fees to eBay, Poshmark and shipping and the cost of the box, still will make a profit. So even my second box that was kind of disappointing, it will still pay for itself and make a profit. Um, so even the bad boxes you can profit from. So these are a really good idea for anybody that doesn't have good cost of goods in their area. Shelly's a good example. I know her and I have talked about this a lot um, in, on, in Facebook and on YouTube comments. Um, Shelly's area doesn't have a 99 cents day. They don't really have a good sale day and her denim is so expensive there. So for her to get a box like this that comes out to $1.60 or $1.90 a pair, that's really good for someone in her area. And then these are also good for anyone like myself and Shelly and Tammy that have bad backs or any other kind of health issues or disabilities. If you don't have a Keith, I, I'm lucky enough that I do have a Keith, but if you do have to go out sourcing by yourself and it's hard for you because you have some sort of disability or health issue, this is a way to get 16 pairs delivered right to your front door and you don't have to stand and dig through the racks and put stress or strain on yourself or you know wear yourself out and come home with a pain level that's not manageable for the day and you're done. So this is a good option for people who need lower cost of goods, people who have health issues. Um, 
Donatella says, yeah, the, the time you don't have to source them. So even if you're, you know, 100% not broken <laughs> like me, even if you're in the best of health, um, you get 16 pairs sent right to your door. How long does it take you to pick 16 off the rack? Um, it is a good way to get a bunch of once, but it is a risk. It is a blind box and you can get boxes that aren't as good. But I would say even the worst ones that I've seen people get in the group and talk about, they can still sell enough out of the box to make a profit. I haven't seen anybody just make enough just to cover the box or take a loss. I've seen everyone make enough to cover the box and a profit, even on the worst ones. So um, I do like them, and I think most of the people in the group like them. We have, we have at any given, on any given day, we have at least one thread where we're all talking about them. So I think they're pretty popular. Um, you know, they did raise the price, but more people are ordering them and less people are sending items in from what I understand. So, and Tammy's right. You also don't spend any gas or your time. They just come to your door. It takes two seconds to order. Um, Shelly's addicted. Um, Robert, those of you that don't know Robert, he's zombie bargain hunter. He is a huge plush seller. In fact, he sells more plush than I do. Um, and so I sometimes tease him and say he's the other plush royalty. <laughs> um, he's listing sports plush right now. Tammy says, I'm going to give it a try. It's worth it once. And I mean, and then sometimes, um, Tammy, actually, no, that expired. I was going to tell Tammy to go in the group and grab that code because anybody could use it. But the free shipping expired. Um, Donatella has four contractor bags full of jeans. Oh, my gosh. I would be on those like like flies on dog poop <laughs> excuse the expression but oh i love doing jeans i am jeans and plush that's my two favorites if i had four contractor bags full of plush i would literally be putting forensic files or something on netflix and just going to town um yeah shelly had said she wouldn't be purchasing anymore but we all know that that was a lie <laughs> who is that maury that says that when you say you won't get another thread up box, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. Um, well, they, the free shipping was only a one-time deal. It was a code that was sent out to a bunch of us. It was a one-time deal. Um, so the last box I got, I paid $24 plus $4.99 shipping. My first box, this is only my third, my first box was $20 plus the shipping. My second one was 24 plus the shipping. This one had the coupon code. So it's not, you still have to pay shipping unless you get the code or a special deal. Um, yeah, jeans and plush. I can't, those are my two. Anytime I have to list anything else, I feel resentful at life. I'm like, why don't I have more jeans? Um, the only exception is booty shorts. Love booty shorts because they are so easy to photograph and list and you can get good money for them in fact i had a pair of american eagle the style was high rise festival this is a bolo for you guys pay attention they were button fly jean like denim shorts booty shorts the tag said high rise festival they were a very small small size very small they were ripped they were destroyed and they sold for 21 dollars on ebay after two days of being up so some of the booty shorts you if they're like ripped and destroyed they're really cute those were button fly too did i say that i feel like i didn't say that they were button fly so they had a lot going for them they were super cute button fly and all that um but booty shorts like you literally lay them down flip them over you take a couple pictures and you can just keep selling similar um and i find them for 99 cents all the time so i bring home big old stacks in the summer. I do pull back on jeans a little bit and I get more cherry picky um, as far as sourcing for jeans. I get less bread and butter and I'm way more cherry picky and just looking for the really good stuff in the summer. But I bring home whole piles of booty shorts and then men's golf shorts, like those American Eagle plaid shorts. I just sold a pair of those for like 20 bucks too that were up for a couple of days. So like the men's golf shorts, swim trunks, women's booty shorts. Um, I do enjoy doing those. Not as much as jeans and plush, but they don't make me feel like the way shoes make me feel. <laughs> but those are money too, so don't 
you know, diversify yourselves. Don't pass anything up. You know, look at everything that you could possibly flip. If you can make a buck off of it, you know, if you can flip it for money, get it. It's all about diversifying. Um, yeah, they do have a code for um, if you're shopping on there. So ThreadUp is kind of like a consignment place. That's what it's supposed to be. We use it for wholesale, but um, they do have a code used. And if you're a new subscriber, you can get like 20% off. But that's only if you're buying from them like individual pieces. Teresa says she's in hoarding mode and has over 500 pairs of jeans. Woo! I would love that. I would be in heaven. And I would keep sourcing too because I have FOMO. You guys all know that. Um, she's listed 97. That's good though. I mean, see the thing is, is you never know what's going to happen in life. Like I always say, especially in the winter here, we get snowed in, the roads get icy. But there may come a time when you can't get out to source for whatever reason. Family obligations, your car breaks down. I mean, we just had to replace the radiator in my car this week. Things happen. And if you have a little bit, a little bit of inventory and a death pile, um, that's good because it's there for when you need it. But if yours is really, really big, you probably need to uh, not source for a while and start listing. Um, five, yeah, you're right. So they probably, I don't know. It seemed coincidental, and it probably is coincidental, but it seemed after I did the first live unboxing of this and, like, tons of people from our Facebook group started to buy them, that was when the price went up. I don't know if they just noticed they were getting more popular, more people were ordering them. Um, supply and demand, you can raise the price. Smart business. Tammy has 400 jeans. So... I've been a very busy little hippo, <laughs> and I this is all my jeans. I listed all my jeans in the last couple of weeks. I've been, um, well, we skipped sourcing last week again because we have so much piled up here, um, but I've been so cherry picky um, about jeans that I'm through them. So this is it. These are all the jeans I have. We will be sourcing tomorrow. Um, but I've been super busy busting my little hiney, my little hippo hiney. And I'm, I have no shorts, no booty shorts, no men's shorts, no pants, no flat lays like that, no jeans. Done, through, gone, photographed and listed. I listed the very last uh, 10 pairs of jeans I had photographs of last night late. So this is it for me. Um, I've gotten through and I have one plush. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have one, one little plush He's, I think I mentioned him in a haul video. He's a Hershey candy bar plush, and he had to go through the wash. He needed, he needed a bath, and he just wasn't part of my photo session that week. So he's by himself. He's waiting for more friends. Um, I kind of just put him aside because I feel like I want to wait until I have a ton of plush to do a photo session of. So hopefully I find a whole bunch of plush tomorrow. He can have some friends. I can do a photo shoot. Um, and I'll mostly just be looking for shorts. Like I said, I get real cherry picky about jeans. I don't even really get a lot of bread and butter in the summer. They still sell for us, absolutely. Um, all summer long, we'll still sell one pair a day, three pairs one day, two pairs the next day. They still sell, just not as much. And the shorts really go. And swimsuits, you guys, if I didn't mention that to you yet, swimsuits are a definite bolo right now. If you can find them, you know, half off. 99 cents is great for us. I will just like, whew. I come home sometimes with like hundreds of swimsuits and booty shorts and I'm busy, busy, busy. But yeah, those are what definitely I would recommend people be looking for. But don't forget to at least look through the other stuff that's out of season for items that are worth it. Um, I still want to look through the jeans and make sure there's no, you know, like the made well, the cut from the cloth, the silver, uh, miss me jeans. And I still look at coats too because um, I can find denim jackets and genuine leather coats for 99 cents and I'm not going to pass them up just because it's summer. So just to keep all that in mind you guys. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let everybody go. I'm sure we all are super busy people that have a lot to do. We all are self-employed and we have to kick ourselves in the butt sometimes. If you're taking time to relax today, enjoy the rest of your day, have fun with your family or whatever you guys are doing. I will be working the rest of this evening because Keith and I played hooky this morning. We kind of reversed instead of working all Saturday to take the evening off. We went out and saw Pet Cemetery, which was pretty good. I have a lot to say about that. But that um, that's is not the time nor place for Star's opinions on horror movies. But we did go see that today. So this evening I will be working um, on the back end of stuff, not listing. I'm working on a jeans guide and some other stuff for the members of our group, some special stuff for them. So, um, oh, I think he's on the phone. I'm like, what's going on? What am I hearing? So anyways, guys, um, enjoy the rest of your day whatever you're doing go be productive make money be happy be good to each other thank you so so much again to tammy for the super chat i appreciate it and thank you so so much to the rest of you for hanging out with me today and opening this box with me to see what i got and tammy another thank you for looking up that one brand um during the show to let me know that it was bread and butter Shelly, thank you so much for all of your help with um, getting me the coupon code and stuff. And um, everyone else, thank you for, you know, hanging out with me. You guys, I do appreciate it. If you're not in our Facebook group, link is in the description box. You should join. It's a great group of people. We have a lot of fun in there. It's the best way to get a hold of me. And I see somebody just said they're doing their taxes. Talk about procrastination. We finished ours last Sunday night, and I thought we were bad. <laughs> G. Jasso's finishing theirs two days before the deadline. Um, we got ours finally done last Sunday. Anyway, join the Facebook group. Like this video before you leave. It does help the channel. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos across all social media. Again, thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today, you guys. I love you guys. Mwah! Go be good people and make lots of money. Bye, guys.